Good morning, Gravel High School. I'm Logan. And I'm Ty, and this is the news for November 7th. As many of you know, FBLA has been making holiday cards for military members. Here's Peyton to tell us a little more about that. Imagine you're in the military deployed far away overseas during the holiday season. FBLA is working to make this time a little easier for our service members. FBLA started making holiday cards for service members last year. This is now their second year doing it. Yeah, we do it like every morning and the whole club does it. So The FBLA students send the cards to an organization then they are sent to all the branches of the military by the organization. They're called holiday cards instead of Christmas cards because of the different diversity of the people they're giving them to. It kind of depends on the person, how much effort they want to put into it, how nice they want it to look, but it could be five minutes to 30 minutes. just depends on who's making it. It's not too late to make a holiday card for a service member. All you need to do is just check in with the teachers making them doing your enrichment. Thanks, Peyton. The fall play is this week. Here's Ethan to tell us what we need to know. Thank you, Logan. Here in the Drama Club, we're excited to present The Election by Don Zalitas. I'm really excited just because we've put in so much work, you know, costumes, time, um, just like a bunch of work and effort. Um, and so I'm really excited to put it on for you guys. I'm really excited to finally direct a comedy. Uh, that's, that's my background as a performer, and to be able to direct one and kind of show what I can bring out of students in a comedic way is, is a great, it's a nice change of pace of what we've been doing. So I'm excited about that. So I like my role because half the time I get to be like a normal person and then the other half of the time I'm kind of like this crazy psycho type thing. I really wanted to become an actor. My feel my feel for Sue dream was becoming an actor. Uh, I'm excited for everyone to come out and see this, this play. It's, uh, it's a comedic show and we haven't done one of those yet and I'm excited to hear everyone laugh. It's about basically a high school kid who thinks he's got this election in the, in the bag, and then all of a sudden his opponent uh, brings out all the stops and uh, gives him a run for his money. Um, I'm super excited for the play because I was given a big role, and it's been like a very fun opportunity getting to know all of the other, other cast members. The school performance will be held this Thursday as opposed to Friday. This is because of the Veterans Day Assembly being held this Friday. The fall play will also be performed for the public this Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 2 p.m. Ticket sales will be $2 for students and $5 for anyone else. You're not going to be disappointed, uh, like I said, nonstop laughter the entire time. Well, that's all for the play. Now back to you guys. For this week's survey, what is your preferred way to play video games? A PlayStation, an Xbox, maybe even a Nintendo or a PC? Let us know. Well, that's everything for this week. I'm Logan. And I'm Ty. And we'll see you next week. week.